Welcome back to the Jane Logic training videos. In today's video, we're going to look at how to manage our sensors and how to turn them on and off in different views. To start off, let's look at one of our stations. I'm going to choose the Zen Grape Station, and I'm actually going to pull up the chart. We're going to look at the sensors that we have now. So as this page is loaded, we can see all the different sensors that we're looking at in this left panel. And the ones that are highlighted in blue are the ones act, that are active and running in the chart itself. To turn these on and off, it's really simple. So this one that's turned off that says Average Soil Moisture, if we just click the name, it turns to blue, and then it'll pop up in the chart. And when the chart refreshes, you see down here at the bottom we have this Average Soil Moisture. So we can turn that on and off. And I'll go ahead and turn it back off. So it's pretty easy to manage these, and now it's off again. So if you just quickly want to look at something, it's, it's simple to do that and turn that on and off. But what I want to do is I actually want to remove one of these so it doesn't show up in the chart every time. And, and if you look at the top, I have this irrigation zone sensor. So that's a group of sensors I'm looking at between 16 and 36 inches. So I group them. But below it is this soil moisture sum. And I actually don't refer to the soil moisture sum, so I don't want to see it in my charts anymore. And I could just come over here and turn it off by clicking the blue, or turning it back on by clicking the blue. But I actually don't want it to show up at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Configuration and deactivate the sensor. So let's close down our chart. And we're going to go back to the Zen station. And we're going to go up in the top right corner to Configuration and choose that. Now this pulled up a complete list of all the sensors, where we can configure the sensors. And in the second column over you see Active. So I'm going to go over to the Soil Moisture Sum and I'm going to click to deactivate that. So what that's going to do is it's deactivating it in the, in the data set as far as charts go. But the sensor's still there. We're not removing it. We're not deleting it. It's just not going to show us the data. The data is still going to collect. So later, if I want to go back and get that data, I could turn it back on, reactivate it, and the data still be there. But I just don't want to see on my chart. So I'm going to click Active to, to click it off, and then hit Save. Now that that's saved, we'll close this down, we'll go back to the desktop, and let's go look at that site again. So now as we load our chart, you'll see it doesn't even show up in the list anymore. We start with the irrigation zone first. Originally it was right below, we had the soil moisture sum right below the irrigation zone. It doesn't even show up in the list. And it's just nice because I don't actually use that sensor, and it just removes it from my chart so it doesn't take up space in the chart. It allows the other charts to be larger in size, and it's just cleaner and simpler because I don't use it. So that's just a few steps to turn those on and off really quickly. We go to Configuration, click the Configuration tool for the site we want to work on. Then when that window loads, you see the second column over shows us our list of active and deactive sensors. And here's all moisture sums turned off. Um, if we wanted to turn it back on, we would just click it to active and hit save. So just a few simple steps. So I hope this helps you when using your sensors and makes your charts more productive for you. Thank you.